Welcome everyone to Retro Game Treasure Tuesday. And as always, we'll be using our highly advanced grading system to see just how good this month's box really is. Starting off our bonus item this month, we got this really cool Boo plushie, which I'm gonna have to hide from the wife because this is mine. Uh, let's get right to the first game. Let's check out Lotus 2 on the Sega Genesis. <laughs> Wait a minute, didn't I get this game last month? Uh, first up, let's check out Lotus 2 on the Sega Genesis. Yeah, I forgot to catalog that box. Just ignore the fact that I'm wearing the same shirt. I didn't at all film two videos back to back. But you know what? F it. That's less work I have to do. Uh, let's check out the Ren and Stimpy Show Vidiots on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, this brings back memories. I think it's safe to say I didn't have high hopes for this game. But honestly, I was expecting much worse. Am I saying it's good? Not necessarily. The graphics represent the show's art style pretty well, though. You gotta admit, it was pretty impressive what they could do with 16-bit graphics back in the day. So it appears each stage is based off an episode of the show, which is pretty cool if you were a fan back in the day. Compared to some other Nicktoons from the time, though, Ren and Stimpy is one that I find hard to go back and watch. But I loved it as a kid. Stage 1 is an episode I definitely remember. However, I don't recall this lamp that looks very much like... Well, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, Ren is dressed up as a mouse while Stimpy cons some poor woman into thinking he's a professional mouse exterminator. And just like the show, where the woman encourages Stimpy to eat Ren, you end up in Stimpy's mouth, which is freakishly huge. Eventually, you end up fighting a boss, which I don't remember this part from the show. Well, anyway, I ended up dying shortly after this boss and really didn't feel like playing the stage again. So I used a level select code to see what else the game had to offer. Now we're in the army, which is another episode I fondly remember. Anyway, the game controls okay for the most part. It's kind of quirky, but you can get used to it. I feel like it's really easy to take damage though, but once you figure out the level, it's not too bad. I'll be honest, I kind of wanted to keep playing just to see what other episodes are represented. There's also little Easter eggs here and there from the show that fans will no doubt recognize. Compared to the other Run and Stimpy game I remember playing, this one's okay, I guess. I'll give it a C. Last up, let's check out Platoon on the NES. Another game based off a movie I've never seen. In my defense, this movie came out the year I was born. And as a kid, I didn't really care for war movies. So I can't say Platoon was on my radar, so to speak. Instead, I just watched the episode of Ren and Stimpy in the army on repeat. Anyway, I had no idea what the hell I was doing in this game. You're in the jungle wandering around what's essentially a maze. There's different paths that lead up and down that you can take. You'll encounter enemies and traps that you need to avoid. Apparently you can't die though. Believe me, I was shot numerous times and just kept coming back. The one thing I will say I absolutely hated about this game, you press up to jump. Yeah, not a fan of that. Also, simply turning around was a pain in the ass at times. I will say if they were trying to simulate being lost in the jungle, they succeeded. I'm not sure what I was trying to accomplish, but eventually I gave up and went AWOL. Aside from having no idea what I was doing, the game doesn't seem terrible, but I can't say I played enough to be certain of that. In all honesty, I've played much worse, so I'll give it a C. Well, anyway, guys, not counting the first game, that gives us a surprising score of C. Thank God for math. Thanks again for watching, guys. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you again next time.